Okay, so when you come over here, you will see that Navi is targeting something over there, but there's nothing over there. And whenever that happens, play your Scarecrow song. Oh, wrong song, dude. There we go. Play our Scarecrow song, and what will happen? There is Pierre over there. He's going to lead us to a sculpture. Dude, how did you miss him in his big face? Look at that face. Get your face out of my place. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Pierre. Whatever. Let's just kill the Skelchula and be done with this. Dude, it's an invincible Skelchula. I hit it like twice with my quick shot and it wouldn't die. Wow, that was awesome. And, oh yeah, you're gonna need your Ocarina in this room for something else, as a matter of fact. As you might have seen when you looked over at that boat, there is gonna be a Triforce symbol here. And what do you do whenever you have it say Triforce symbol? You pull out your magic beans! No. That's bottom of the well stuff. You're gonna play Zelda's lullaby. Doo doo. Doo doo doo. Stop. No. Alright. Oh god. Look at that big face on that boat. The birdie face. The boat will start moving when you do that, and. Yep, we're going on a nice little pleasure cruise, it looks like. How lovely. Into the green smog. Oh god! It's a Stalfos. It must die. Get, get out of here. Stop circling me, douchebag. Okay, just... Oh god, there's another one. Kill them. Knock them into the water. Alright, kill it, please. There we go. And... Oh, all right, kill you, please, now. Pretty please. Really please with cherry on top. Thank you. All right, now let's enjoy our pleasure cruise for as much longer as we can. Do, 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 do. Uh, they should have put a sculpture in this here somewhere. That would be cool. And wait a minute. There's a wall. Dude, dude, stop. There's, you're going to hit the wall. We're going to hit the wall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we're going to hit the wall, guys. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to drown. I right, go the ship is sinking. Abandon ship. Get on a safe platform. Okay. Yep. She will actually still say that if you jump off before the ship even starts sinking. So she like say that while on the platform there. All right. Um. Looks like we're gonna go over here to this door since it's unlocked, which is always a good sign. Yep. And oh, this room. All right. In this room, uh, get out your lens of truth, and you will see something interesting that there are walls blocking our path. So just keep your lens of truth on and we'll make it through here. You can easily get through here without the lens of truth too, but yeah. And basically in every corner of this room there's gonna be a door and oh god. All right, get, get over here. Get over here and die. And now there's three of you. Lovely. And kill it. Nice, it didn't grab onto me. Didn't even have a chance. Oh baby. On chest. On to this being that chest. Five rupees, maybe? Let's find out. God. Better not be five rupees, I swear to God. Thank you. It's a key. Something useful. Jeez. Okay, hearts. Lovely. And we're gonna start working our way back through this room again. Ah, uh, there's you. Okay. Whatever. I don't care about your little baby spawn things. Whatever. I say whatever too much. And oh, another one of these rooms. Um, this room, it has like three skulls in here, but there's really no point to this room. Because if you throw bombs and all three of the skulls, all you get is rupees pretty much, if I remember. But don't think of skipping over this room, because if you go back here, just like in the other room, there's going to be a gold sculpture. Left. So definitely don't miss this room. Even though the rest of the room is pointless, you need to get this sculpture. And I think this is actually going to be the last one in the Shadow Temple. Yep, we're clear of gold sculptures. How awesome. So, we can just skip this room now. Just not waste our time with it. You know, like we waste our time in the basement to the bottom of the well. When we didn't even need to. At least I got the dungeon map when doing that, though. So it wasn't a complete bust. What's in here? Alright. And, oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Shit. 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 What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm being... Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna die. 
I'm gonna die, you guys. I'm gonna die. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, no. I'm not gonna die. Because you know what? These things are made of wood, and if life has taught me anything, wood does not like fire. Bam. Ba bam. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, look, I hit the redheads on both sides. Sweet. Alright, you're dead, and you give me a chest. That, well, you don't give me a chest. It's like the redhead dies, and it hand blue ruby. It would hand me a chest with a blue ruby in it, now wouldn't it? Okay, and, uh, redead. Alright. And, oh, what's gonna be in this chest? I wonder what could it possibly be? We have never seen a chest like this before, have we? What is it going to be? The boss key! Yay! So, that should signify that we're getting pretty close to the end of the dungeon here. And we are. We might. I think we're actually probably gonna finish it in this video. I'm not even kidding. And, yep, so we're done with this room now. And this big, fat, stupid, ugly, pus faced wall puzzle. Alright. So even so, it doesn't really seem like there's anywhere else we could go because we can't really get over there even with our hover boots. But there's random bomb flowers over there, so maybe just maybe piercing those bomb flowers will cause them to ignite somehow. Let's try it. All right, I missed. That's fine. And look, look at that. It did. And oh god, epic camera angles for the win. It's gonna fall. Timber. <laughs> Face plant. Mush. Stupid bird. You're not the word anymore now, are you? Okay, and, uh, yep. Arrows. We're gonna need those for the boss, I got actually. Yeah, I think you're gonna need arrows and magic for the boss, pretty much, and that's gonna be it. Oh, I'm gonna get my Lens of Truth out. Replace Din's Fire with it, because Din's Fire bugs me. Not as much as Ferrara's Wind, though. Alright, so you can play your Scarecrow song, and additionally the Song of Time, or whatever, to get those hearts, but I don't think I need them. So yeah, get some magic here, maybe a life refill, just maybe, no, okay. And use our key here, to surpass that obstacle, and oh god, it's so far away, I can't reach that, what are you smoking? I guess we're gonna need our hover boots, even though we can't, we obviously can't make that with our hover boots. But you can, because there's hidden platforms. Duh. And I think you can just barely make that. Yeah. Nice. And look at that. We are at the boss door already, and we're only like halfway through the third episode. How awesome. And, oh, dude, what am I doing? Just do that. Alright. Okay, open this up. And in here, there is this. If you have the hover boot still equipped, you actually slide onto this and automatically fall. You know what? I'm going to put... No, I'm not going to put the hover boots on. Let's just fall. Wee Boing. Oh, I hit a trampoline. How fun. Whoa, this is creepy. Holy shit. What? Huh? What the fuck? It's like... Drumming? Am I, am I not on a trampoline? I'm on a drum? What the frick is this? Oh my god. What are you? You are... You're... you're Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Bongo. Oh my god. Okay, so in order to see this guy, you're gonna have to have your Lens of Truth on. Alright. Basically, the point, basically in this battle, you need to hit both hands with arrows, just like that, then hit his eye with the arrow, and come at it and slash it to death. Yep. Basically, hit the hands to open the eye, and hit the eye once it's open. How lovely. Alright. This is a really easy boss battle, honestly. Alright, and slash. Oh my god! Are you serious? Bongo bongo. Oh my god. That was- I think that was faster than Goma, honestly. It was faster than Morpha, I know that much, and that was a quick battle. Well, look at that. We have like, f what? Six minutes to spare in this episode still. And oh, he turns into the very shadow that came out of the well, it looks like, except much bigger and blacker. Wow. Seriously. Bongo, Bongo, you suck dick! Shit. Get the arrows! Yay! Aww, oh, I missed them. Sad face. Heart container. Making... Okay, why didn't it zoom in on me? I don't know. But now we have 18 hearts. How sweet. 
All right. Uh, let's just put on the item that we got in this temple, the hover boots, just to signify the end of it. And leave. Get encased in a blue rupee, many of which we saw in this temple, which pissed me off. Period. All right. Who's going to be the sage of the shadow temple now? Well, Sheik already spoiled it for us. But I'm going to make it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Zooming in down. Right in on the boots. Look at that. My winged boots. Oh, what's that guy in Greek mythology with the winged boots? I forget his name. Whatever. The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina. As expected, as I expected, you have come. And yes, it is Impa. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker. And I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bounded me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, when last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad, just a wee little tyke. Now I just, now I see that you have become a fine hero. Yeah, look at my big nose. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. What's with the waterfall in the background? Soon you will have to meet Princess. You'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones. You mean the six sages, six wise ones? Damn. We'll seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. Ba -ba 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 no. Alright, and we get the awesome purple medallion of epicness yeah look at that look at that shit we get this you received the shadow medallion Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours boom baby please look out for the princess exclamation point and looks like with that we are efficient efficiently no efficient Officially done with the Shadow Temple. All skill chlothes. The boss is done so very quickly and easily. Uh, yeah, and we still have like a good, what, two and a half minutes left? Let's take off these boots, man. Alright, what can I show in three and a half, two and a half minutes, more like? Actually, no, more like three minutes, actually. Now that. No, wait. Yeah, two minutes, okay. I know something I can show off in two minutes. It's a little secret in Kakariko, Kakariko Village, I mean. Alright, so take out your long shot. Long shot onto the roof over here. Uh, can I make it from here, please? Alright. Let's do it. Dude, I thought I was going to make it. Come on. Damn it. Fine. I'll go over here. If it makes you happy. Oh, I can't even reach it from there. Wow. Maybe from here? On top of the crate? I don't know. I'm just trying to get on this roof so I can show something. Thank you. My god. Okay, so if you go on this roof and go over here, you can hookshot and see that there is a little peg over there. Inside the windmill. Hookshot to it. And you will appear in here. And there's a random staircase here. What? Is it going to be a dungeon? Oh my god. No, it's just a hidden cuckoo up here for whatever reason. Have fun. Whee! I'm soaring over Kakariko Village. Look at me! So happy. Land on the tree! Alright, well, I think that's enough goofing around for now. So, um, it's time to end off my recording of the Shadow Temple at 44 minutes and 20 ish seconds. So thank you everybody for watching. In the next episode, we will do something else, I suppose. Move on to the final area, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not the final final area, just the final area. But, yep. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.